warm greetings of the day. I am R. Uma Mageshwari, Assistant Professor and Head, Department of Computer Science. My e-content is on the topic Computer Organization and Architecture. Computer Architecture is a description of the structure of a computer system made from component part. So there are basically three main categories, instruction set architecture, micro architecture and system design architecture. Memories are actually made up of registers. Each register is a memory in one storage location. The storage location is also called as memory location, so which can be identified its, by its address. The total number of bit a memory can store is its capacity. A element which is stored in a memory is also called as cells. A word is a group of bit where a memory bit stores binary information. A word with a group of 8 bit is called a byte. A memory unit consists of data lines, address selection lines and control lines which specifies the direction of transfer of data from one location to the another location. So these are the different types of computer memories, cache memory, RAM memory, raw memory and virtual memory. Cache memory, this is a temporary storage area known as cache, is more readily available to the processor than the computer main memory source. It is also called a CPU memory where it will integrate the CPU chip directly and it is placed in a separate chip which is with the bus interconnected to CPU. Virtual memory it's a memory management technique with a secondary storage device. It uses the hardware and software to enable a computer for the accessing physical memory storages. Here, the transfer of data from RAM to disk comes under this category. ROM is a full form is read-only memory, which is also known as non-volatile memory and it is used to store information which is used to operate the system. Here, it can, here the programs can only read and nothing can be modified or deleted. Whereas in mask ROM, which is also termed as CAM ROM, here the low, it is, a, it is considered to be the low cost ROM where the pre-programmed collection of data or instruction will be Consider in the ROM. Next, ROM, programmable read only memory. This read only memory is a modifiable one by the user. Here, the user can rewrite or update or append any of the information in the system. EEPROM, which is also known as erasable programmable read only memory. So, when you, where you can erase the content of the ROM by exposing to its ultraviolet rays for nearly 40 minutes, we can be able to rewrite the content in the ROM. Next comes the EE prom, where the written content can be erased electrically. So, these are the memory hierarchy design with level 0 up to level 4. The memory hierarchy design can be divided into two types, can be external memory or internal memory. External memory is also referred as secondary memory, which comprises magnetic disk, optical disk and its secondary storage devices. And internal memory is also known as a primary memory, where it comprises a main memory, cache memory and CPU register. Registers are small. High speed memory keys located in the CPU, whereas the cache memory is a small and fast memory unit located close to the main memory, is also known as RAM, is a primary memory of computer system. It has a large storage capacity than the cache memory, even though it is very slow. Main memory is used to store data and instruction that can currently be used by the